everybody and welcome to my channel this is Leslie thank you so much for joining me today and it is another episode of thrifty Thursday and um, I have to apologize for last week I wasn't able to post a video last week so today I'm posting two videos so I hope that you get to see my other video and um, yeah so uh, t on this video I am going to be making a monochromatic layout using sprays and hand stitching so I pulled out my whimsical collection and I cut these little word strips out um, from one of the pattern papers and I hand stitched, I don't know if you can see, I hand stitched over the little words, over the letters. So I did some hand stitching and that's going to be the hand stitching that I'm going to be using. I also thought of pulling out these red bits and um, the orange bits um, that I fussy cut from this little pattern paper with the banners on and then I pulled out the sticker book the rub-ons and the puffy stickers and my little swatch books um, I'm going to see what I can uh, make with with this um, all monochromatic and the sprays I'm going to be using is um, I thought of using my um, a bit of mustard. Uh, the red spray is a bit, um, it looks a bit gaudy, but uh, here it is. It's called raspberry. So I might use a combination of these two sprays um, on my background. And um, this is called mustard and this is called raspberry. And then, yeah, so this is the hand stitching, also monochromatic, and then my two sprays that I am going to be using. So let's, I'll put you guys on fast forward and we can start. So yes, so here we go with the layout. I decided to use a plain white cardstock for the basics of this layout. And at this stage, I still, you know, was debating on whether I should introduce a little bit more of a pink hue to my orange bits and my red bits that I got going there and that little uh, two by two square says let me just get the layout here it says what a wonderful day and the next one says you make me smile and laugh every day and I love the fact that there are a lot of um, word phrases and sayings on this layout and it's you sort of you read along with the layout as um, you know as you look through the layout and um, it, it's it's got a lot to it and uh, so I'm going to go through this little uh, swatch book to see if there's anything in the color scheme that I could use and it's really only those three little uh, two by two squares that that I'm going to be using in the end and originally I thought of making a horizontal layout um, but then in the end I don't so I am going to be using making a vertical layout now I've been doing the vertical thing a lot lately and I love it it is it is um, very easy um, if you decide on um, putting all your main embellishments in a vertical uh, in, a, in a vertical formation because it sort of it embellishes your page for you and you don't have to think too much about where things are going if you if you um, embellish in a vertical column along along one of the sides of the page and the thing is that it always looks compositionally lovely <laughs> If you do it on the right hand side, left hand side, in the middle, you know, I love vertical layouts. Um, I've got a few of them on my channel. And um, so I really, I'm, after I made this layout, I looked at it and I was quite impressed with myself that I made it orange. And um, it is not a, oh, well, reddish, orangey, pinkish. <laughs> it's not a color that you see a lot in scrapbooking. It's like purple. Um, although I love purple and I have made quite a lot of layouts with the color purple in it and I don't know why purple is so so difficult to scrap maybe it's because we don't have a lot of purple in kits lately or in products um, I know things are seasonal and I know things go you know there's a tide <laughs> that everybody follows when it goes to these things um, uh, but I love this orange. I, while I was at university many, many moons ago, <laughs> I 
orange was my favorite color. Uh, actually, this type of sort of ready orange was my favorite color and everything was orange. I had orange toilet paper. I had orange shampoo bottles. I had orange everything. Now, I have a personality that um, uh, <laughs> when I like something, I get everything in that sort of thing. If I like a color, everything is like at the moment it's green and sort of that gunmetal gray color and I my whole house is that color basically <laughs> and um, so yes yeah, so I loved orange in university as I said everything was orange my bedding was orange my curtains was orange my walls were orange everything was orange so I'm I really love this and it totally takes my mind back to when I was orange obsessed um, I don't know do you guys have a favorite color and if you do have a favorite color um, do you get obsessed with it and then everything has to be in that specific color or, or or do you guys change your colors like for instance now it's that greeny gunmetal gray color um, in the past it was a, like a more yellowy green and then obviously orange at a stage and I loved red at a stage so do you guys change your favorite colors do they sort of grow with you or do you, have you had the same favorite color all through your life? <laughs> so I'm going to be using those um, that raspberry. Now the raspberry, I know it looks black on the screen. Um, I the coloring is not working for me really well. And that uh, which is that color that I'm using there? Let me just have a look. I think it's butter. No, it's mustard. The mustard is bringing the or the the raspberry down to earth a little bit. It's very dark and um, I'm I think I'm going to use some do some dabbing with some toilet paper just to see if I can uh, dab some of that dark up because if um, if you leave the um, color shine on the paper the color shine does stay very dark if you dab it up a little bit or um, you know there you go I'm using toilet paper it does um, lighten the color a teensy tiny bit and that worked and you still don't see it on the screen but um, you can check it out on the stills um, after I finished uh, with the video and then you'd be able to see the colors the colors of the of the of the layout so um, I wanted to pop this uh, photo up on some foam squares and not foam squares foam adhesive and <laughs> this is lovely foam adhesive and it is acid free so I'm safe to use it behind my photos and that is a photo of Etienne and Lucy Lucy was two weeks old and I've been scrapping a lot of her her baby shoot photos lately it's sort of nostalgic she's 18 months old now and she is the cutest thing she is the sweetest cutest baby and um I'm sort of nostalgic <laughs> looking at how tiny she was and you you know I, I can't really it's like you can't remember how small they were you know how, how teeny tiny she was she was the best baby she she hardly ever screamed she just moaned and then you gave a bottle and she was fine and you know so it's it's just lovely looking at those photos so I'm going to be using those uh, word strips that um, I stitched and um, some other little flags that I cut out from one of the pattern papers. And I'm obviously sticking to the same sort of color, color scheme. Um, so some of them are a bit more pinky, some of them are a bit more orangey, but it's all basically the same, you know, in the same tree, scheme, family. <laughs> As you can see, the photo also has a vertical aspect to it. The composition of the photo is vertical. Etienne sitting, you sort of start with his head and then you follow his body down towards Lucy on his lap. And that ties in very nicely with the vertical aspect of the layout. And that sort of that makes you feel nice when you look at the when you look at the layout. It you know, and sometimes when I make a layout and I have an uneasy feeling, I sort of I, I look at the composition of the photo, I look at the, the composition of my layout, and then I you know think to myself, is this the right composition for the photo? Um you know, so take that into consideration when you do scrapping. Look at your photo, see you know, are your um subjects of the photo are they angled to one side? Um, is it a is it a landscape or a portrait photo? Um, um, is the subject of your your photo is it is it a more vertical, more horizontal subject? You know things like that. And um, 
it makes for a good layout if you take that into consideration um, the composition of your photo um, so and the fact that this photo is black and white really plays nicely with the fact that um, you know this is a monochromatic layout um, I didn't want to bring any more color into this layout obviously um, well it's black and white technically <laughs> black and white's not they're not colors but um, yeah so the black and the white really worked very well and even though that um, Heidi Swap Color Shine Raspberry didn't, it, it was way too dark. You can hardly see any of it in, um, you know, because I, the whole composition is vertical. So everything sort of covers it up and you only see little bits of it behind, behind peeking out behind my little bits I'm sticking up over it. So that worked out really well. Um, I am going to be popping some of those little banners and word and word phrases up on my foam adhesive and some of it I'm going to be sticking down with my um, wet glue. For instance, the bits I uh, stitched, I'm sticking down with wet glue because the foam adhesive is not going to stitch really nice, stitch, stick, excuse me, stick nicely to the stitching. Uh, to the thread so I am going to be using my liquid glue with that and um, I'm also going to be using some of these little enamel shapes uh, from the whimsical collection and I think most of everything that I use is from the whimsical collection in this for this layout um, I think I do go into one of the I think take me away sticker book let me just have a look no, it's turn the page. I think I go into the turn the page sticker book and there you see me sticking some puffy stickers. Now, I've got a lot of this collection left. Um, I, I've made so many layouts with this collection with Whimsical and I can't seem to finish it. <laughs> There's so much in it. And I mean, I, I bought the collection from Paige herself. So everything was in it. You know, I have the charms. I have the sticker book. I have the puffy stickers. Everything. The rub-ons. The whole katoot. So, um... You know, I'm, it, I'm going to work for quite a while to get to get through this collection. Now, I went into the rub-ons and I chose the, you know, coordinating orangey red color to um, go with my layout. And um, I should have done this, the rub-on part, before I stuck down everything um, so that it would have, uh, so that I could you know, work more easily uh, with with the rub-ons. Um, but as you can see, I cut the little bit out that I need and then I just rub it on to the space that I want it to be in. And there you go. So you don't stand the um, chance of uh, rubbing anything else off on a, you know, area that you don't want it on. I thought that these little hearts would go perfect onto the photo and they do. And as you can see, just above the hearts that I just rubbed on, there's a teeny tiny little pink or light pink um, puffy heart. And that looks really cute. And it's um, uh, those are some little cross stitches that I'm rubbing on there, also from the rub on little pack. And um, I do do some other rub ons as well. I think there's a little cross stitch row that I that I rub on in the end as well and I do rub on a butterfly um, so that butterfly is going to go to the left hand side of my photo I move that little puffy butterfly um, a bit more north a bit higher up um, so that the so that it looks like there's a bunch of butterflies flying up and you can see I mean this this is not necessarily a boy color um that you can you know that you that you would describe to boys but this is quite a nice layout and you could ease quite easily turn this layout um turn this idea into something masculine um you know there's no flowers there's um you know okay there's a lot of hearts but who says hearts are you know feminine so um the butterflies look really nice even though this is a you know my son is um you know this is a photo of my son and lucy but i am quite loving this layout i i i was thinking you know i i was quite um nervous about making a uh, a a monochromatic layout i didn't know first i thought okay pink's the easiest because i've got a lot of pink stuff 
and there's so much pink um, in scrapbooking that it you know it it's it would go so easy I'm um, so easily to make a pink a pink layout uh, but then you know it 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 changed and I'm glad because of this challenged me to think outside the box and to think of different colors and I have never made an orange layout and you know I can't say that I'll never make one again but you know what's the likelihood and I love it I think it looks awesome so I'm going to be sticking some of those little strips from the turn the page sticker book just behind my photo um, just to add some layering and to make the photo stand out a bit from the white background and um, have another strip there and I'm going to be moving that puffy butterfly the side butterfly um, just a little bit uh, to the to the bottom of the layout and um, so this is it for this layout basically I'm going to be putting on a title as well I do bring out those little heart hugs from Bella Boulevard but I don't end up using them these little hearts from uh, they are little sprinkles from uh, Doodlebug uh, they're red they blood red and they just pop and bring a little bit deeper color into the layout but they're so small it's really such a stunning accent to have these teeny tiny little red hearts so they're almost the same color as the stitching i used on those little word phrases that i stitched hand stitched so i'm going to be bringing in a title as well uh, from bella boulevard and this is from freckled fawn it's the enamel shapes and that teardrop just goes perfectly on that side and I think I put three of these teardrops on there just to sort of give you an, uh, an you know an um, aspect of three compositional thing <laughs> you know um, so I'm going to be using this as a title and it just says smiles it's the acrylic words from uh, Bella Boulevard I've got loads of these and I love them so I'm going to be originally sticking it down with wet glue it does not work so I'm going to use my glue dots and that works perfectly as you can see there I'm attempting to do it with wet glue don't do this <laughs> it doesn't work just do glue dots or if you've got a tape runner just do tape runner um, behind this acrylic word and just stick it down to your page I am going to be adding some more Heidi Swap color shine some more of the mustard to the empty space um, on the layout to the right hand side and uh, just to I don't know maybe to bridge the gap a little bit between the excessive white right side and the more clustered left side that is it for this layout please check out Becky's um, beautiful page and um, I will leave a link down to her page below um, her monochromatic layout is stunning as well and uh, please watch out for next week next um, next week is a brand new month and we've got loads of good things in store bye